Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to install MySQL in Ubuntu. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is, how to install MySQL in Ubuntu. But before we begin, if you are an aspiring data analyst, then I have the perfect course for you. We have the Professional Certificate Program in Data Analytics. Boost your career with this data analytics program in partnership with Purdue University and in collaboration with IBM, which features masterclasses and follows an applied learning model with real-time projects and business case studies. Now that we have a clear understanding of the PGP Data Analytics Certification with Simply Learn in collaboration with IBM from Purdue University, we will get started with our tutorial for today's session. So now we're on the Ubuntu operating system. Let's quickly start our terminal. The shortcut key for that is Control Alt D. So now we have the terminal opened, so we might have to uh, run a few couple of commands. So the first one would be sudo apt upgrade or update. It will ask for the host password. Now you have the update. So usually what happens is when you try with the default method or when you try with the default codes or the commands, you might miss a couple of updates or two or files, right? So what happens when you try with the default codes or default commands is you might miss a file or two. So when you update the Ubuntu, you will get the missing files as well. Now, if in case if you find, I've got all the updates, but in case if you find some files are missing, uh, you might receive a message from Ubuntu saying can't update or not fetched, right? In that case, you can try upgrade command. even then if you miss a couple of files there is another similar command which says sudo apt full upgrade we should also try that as well so basically what happens is you might have one single command which says sudo apt install mysql right so that particular command will run but unfortunately sometimes it misses to face complete get I mean, it misses to get all the files. So to avoid that, we will try the brute force method, which will get all the files, all the updates on all the executable files you require to run MySQL and Ubuntu. Right. Just a couple of minutes. Yes. So similar to upgrade, we have full upgrade. It's done. And in case if you wanted to remove some unnecessary files, you have a command for that as well. So let's take a look at that. So the sudo apt auto remove will remove any of those older packages which you no longer need after the complete full upgrade. Let's run that. There you go. So now we are done with the Ubuntu update. Let's clear the screen by pressing Ctrl plus C shortcut key. The shortcut key control L has been pressed and the screen has been cleared now. Now we are good to go with our SQL installation command, which is sudo apt get install my SQL. Yeah, so again, we face some issues regarding the installation. So this means that we might have some files which we might not need related to MySQL. So my suggestion would be to eliminate those particular files using the sudo apt get remove purge MySQL server, MySQL client, MySQL common, yes. That is why. So we're trying to remove any of the existing files. So let's again, Let's try to get auto remove 
and auto clean again the update there you go we have the update and now we shall try to install the mysql server with the following command but the difference is we are trying to install it with yes that is hyphen y providing the permissions there you go you can see mysql is running as pid 6045 anyways let's also check the status once the update is done there you go let's quickly check the status by using sudo system control status mysql and there you go it says the server is operational and the main pid is 62 Zero. Let's quickly clear the screen using Control L key combination. And now let's start SQL by using the command sudo mysql. They should start mysql for you. There you go. That's how you install mysql in Ubuntu operating system. Again, you can run all your queries based on mysql. And in case if you want to quit, just type in quit. And with that, we have come to an end of this session. And if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources that we use, that is all the codes that we use to clean the operating system, update the operating system, clean the existing MySQL files, update the system again, and install the MySQL in Ubuntu. Every single code has been documented. And if you need it, let us know in the comment section below and we will have it shared with you at the earliest. And until next time, thank you, stay safe, and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.